Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Princess Cruises experts. And today, I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful Crown Princess. I may say back on board, my family's had a great time on this ship. We know that you're gonna love it as well. And I'm gonna tour all the public spaces here. We do have all the rooms and suites on our channel for you to peruse as well. But before we get started, make sure when you're ready to book your next cruise on the Crown Princess or any cruise with Princess Cruises, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel or book it right on hardtravel.com. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Princess, and we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now I've started up here on deck 16. We're right above the pool, and up here you're gonna find an enormous amount of sun space. So you've got loungers wrapped all the way around the pool deck here. You'll see right in the middle there, is where you're gonna find the bandstand. They're gonna have some great Caribbean music here going in just a few minutes as we sail away. Now there's more chairs all the way along the glass area looking out at the ocean views. And then behind me, you're gonna find the Trade Winds Bar. Now every great pool needs a great pool bar. That is one of those. But of course, it's the crew that make this ship exceptional. They're here to provide amazing service. They love that they do, and they love watching you love what you do as well too. Without them, the ship would just be a beautiful piece of metal. They really bring life to all of it and they deliver incredible service time and time again. Now to complement the Tradewinds bar, you also have Mix just down below. So you've got a bar there. You've got several different dining options. You've got pizza. You've got the grill with all your favorite tacos, hot dogs, and hamburgers. Now the pool's right down below me as well. You can get a great view of this. And then just up behind, you're gonna find quite a bit more sun deck space. You'll find that this ship has an enormous amount of sun deck space from the forward all the way to the aft, plenty of places to spread out. So now we step down to the pool deck. You can see more of the loungers here wrapped around the main pool. You've got the loungers under the shade and then an extension with all of the tables and chairs on the side. Now behind me is the Salty Dog Grill. It's a recent upgrade here. You're gonna find some really delicious tacos. Those are my favorite things there. Burgers, hamburgers, hot dogs, all your favorites you'll find there as well. Now wrapped around the corner, you've got what Princess is most known for, and that is of course the pizza. But the main part is the pool right here in the middle. It's a really nice large size, perfect for laps, especially in the morning and later in the evening. And then you also have a couple hot tubs here as well. Now just after the Neptune pool, you're gonna find the Calypso Reef Pool. So it's another really large pool. I love that it's pretty deep. Also great for laps, especially in the morning and the evening. You've got a couple hot tubs around there. You've got the Calypso Bar, so they'll provide bar service all around. Now one of the great features of this particular pool, it's where they do movies under the stars. Now this is a concept that Princess pioneered. Everybody else has copied them since then because it's such a wonderful thing. Now you'll see that you've got chairs all the way around. There's those extra comfy loungers, you've got cocktail tables in the middle, and right up above you have the massive Movies Under the Stars screen. Now they'll do first run movies in the evening, they'll do sporting events, and all kinds of different wonderful options. Now what I also really appreciate is how Princess is added to the ambiance. They'll have a popcorn maker, oftentimes they'll have warm cookies and milk that you can enjoy as well. And they'll bring blankets out. You can even take advantage of it when you're in Alaska. Wherever you are on the ship, they do a fantastic job, once again, with movies, different styles of concerts as well here. And I love that they also have that overflow seating that comes out from the Horizon Court, so you can sit outside and eat just like you can inside. Now the holy trinity here on board is this spot right here. You've got sliced pizza, just behind me you've got coffee and cones, so you've got the coffee shop, which is Taylor's favorite, and of course, well, they knew I was coming. It's time for some soft serve, though I think she knows what's coming next. I might want an additional one as well. Now this is a complimentary option. Keep in mind that they have added on some premium dessert upgrades. So you'll see here you've got different premium desserts. Now keep in mind if you have the Princess Premier plan, you're gonna get these included. If you have the Princess Plus, you're gonna get a couple of them throughout your cruise. So there's lots of different options of upgrading. Keep in mind, go over those with your hard travel expert. Well, once again, she knew I was coming, so the coffee will come up next and uh, let's see. There we go, eh, there we go. Now Princess is known for its pizza and I like to do a little sweet and savory together, right? A little New York style. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And my own swirl comb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need a minute. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your experience, you may want to consider the sanctuary. 
Now this is an adults only space and it does come at an additional cost, but it's a nice quiet area, very relaxing, and you're gonna find some significant upgrades. There's food service up here. They've got different grab and go items. They'll also provide service all around. They'll provide the drink service up here as well. Now you'll see that you have loungers wrapped all the way around the front of the ship. You can take advantage of those beautiful forward facing ocean views. You've got loungers wrapped all the way around as well. And they all have that nice little side cocktail table. Now keep in mind when this ship is in Alaska or any of the incredible scenic areas of the world, they're also gonna have special upgrades on those days. They take it to another level so you'll get more amenities here in the sanctuary itself. But of course you're reserving yourself the best views on the ship. Now keep in mind if you're looking for an open air massage, make sure you speak with the spa when you're making your spa reservations. There's actually two spa areas right up here in the sanctuary itself and you can reserve those to have your treatments. Now one area that's tucked away towards the front that a lot of guests don't find until the second, third, fourth day is the Lotus Spa Pool area. So it's wrapped around the fitness center and the spa. You're gonna have a pool down there, there's two hot tubs, but I love the extra comfy loungers that wrap around. You've got some shade areas and some areas in the sun as well, all with that Asian Zen type feeling and theme. Now, as we start to head further forward, you'll find stairs that head up to another sun deck. So you've got quite a bit of sun deck space here. From here, you can look over the main pool. You can also see the sanctuary, the lotus pool as well, and then all the additional sun deck space here where you can spread out and get some rays. Now, as you head all the way out from the Horizon Buffet and the Calypso Cove, you're gonna find the terrace bar and the terrace pool. So back here, you've got a nice pool area. You can see the terrace where the name comes from. You've got sitting areas here. You're also gonna have lounge chairs wrapped all the way around the sides and you have them in the shade. Now there's some extension from the buffet as well so you can eat outside. You also have the terrace bar down there below that's gonna provide bar service all around. Now, as the terrace steps up, you have more seating areas. You can see right here, just aft of Sabatini's, you got some great seating areas in the shade. And then as you head further up, you even have an additional hot tub up there and more sun deck space. Now there's a lot of fun to be had on the very top of the ship. You're gonna find the sport court, you're gonna find some croquet, mini golf, and also a lot of fun games like cornhole. Now you can juggle if you'd like, and I couldn't find the putter today. So I think we'll use uh, yeah, this works just fine, right? This is a putter, isn't it? Let's see. I don't know how many par this is, but we're gonna give it a shot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go that it's a par 19. Okay, a little layup. Line it up. There you go. If it's a par four, well, I got it. Well, anyway, lots of fun. I love playing mini golf. Of course, they do have the putters and the balls up here as well. It's one of those complimentary activities here on board. So come on up, enjoy a game of cornhole. They've got a couple set up on the side. You've got Coquet on the far side. You've got the Princess Lynx right here. There's even a sport court. Let's head over and check that out as well. Now there's quite a few options that you can take advantage of. Of course, pickleball has gotten really, really popular. Let's see. Oh, try to get fancy, see what happens. But also another fan favorite is of course basketball. You know, my dad was a basketball coach for over 40 years, one of the winningest in California state history. We always had to come up and practice our free throws. We played a lot of three on three tournaments. Let's see if I've still got anything left here. Okay, I called the bank, didn't I? Didn't I? I told you the bank's open on Fridays. Let's see, let's see if I can extend that just a little bit. Nope. All right, well, anyway, sport court, lots of fun to be had, lots of fun to find, lots of ways to meet new people, and you can even play a little bit of football or soccer. I'm getting a little hungry. I think it's time for the buffet. So now we're inside the Horizon Court. Now the Horizon Court and the Calypso Cafe, they combine to make the full buffet option here on board. Now you're gonna find it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. Of course, the items are going to move around. So you've got behind me, beautiful cut of meat right there. So you've got roast beef. You'll find that each and every single day, they'll have a rotational menu in here. Like I said, they'll have egg stations in the morning, French toast, pancakes, all of your favorites, moving through lunch and into dinner. They also have a wide variety of international cuisine. So all your favorite salad from the salad bar, all the different desserts, the fruits, and then you also have some different Indian foods and styles of options as well. Now for me, I go back to the cookies time and time again, but if you want a quick grab bite, this is that perfect spot for you. 
Now I wanted to point out the complimentary beverage station. So here, you're gonna find that you have hot water, iced tea, coffee, both decaf and regular, so this is the drip coffee. Now they do have the coffee shop where you can upgrade that experience. Over here you've got lemonade, iced tea, like I said, and then all the different condiments. So you'll find that all throughout the space, always complimentary. Now towards the after the ship, you're gonna find Sabatini's. Now this is the most popular of the specialty restaurants here on board because everybody loves Italian food and it's a really extensive and delicious menu. From those delicious truffle arancini that are absolutely, well, one of my all time favorite items anywhere on any ship, to the burrata caprese, to everything in between with all your favorite pastas, your meat dishes, it truly is an Italian food paradise with, as I mentioned, an extensive menu. Now you'll see here that you have elegant style seating. You've got tables for two along the window. You've got booth style seating. You also have larger tables and they can put them together for larger parties as well. Now I mentioned that this is one of the specialty restaurants. So it's open for dinner each and every single day at an additional cost, but it's also the place where sweet guests can have that upgraded breakfast every single day as well. There's so many reasons to upgrade to the suite beyond just the incredible space in the suite. Now, if you wanna see all of those, we have them on our channel for you to check out. Now, in addition to having an incredible restaurant back here, it's also my favorite bar on the ship. Let me take you over to Adagio. Now, one of the best reasons to go on a cruise is to make memories that last a lifetime. And one of the things that I really appreciate is when I walk back onto a ship into a space where I made amazing memories, it really floods back to me. Now, we had an amazing cruise here on the Crown Princess. We came up here every single night. My mother-in-law, father-in-law, we would come up here and really enjoy the ambiance. There's a piano in the corner. It's actually the first time we got to cruise with our good friend, Sammy, who I also got to cruise with on the Regal Princess and on the Pacific Princess on an amazing 30-day cruise. Now, I digress a little bit, but as I mentioned, the nostalgia for me here personally is really, really deep. We had such an incredible time here. We've lost my father-in-law since then and uh, it, it to me it just real brings it all back together because what I focus on is the incredible times that we had together now you can see it's a beautiful bar space it's a really nice large open lounge you're also gonna have the bar tucked in the corner there where they'll provide phenomenal bar service in fact I find that the best martini on the ship is right here in Adagio every single time now one of the spaces on board that gives me an enormous amount of nostalgia is Skywalker's nightclub it's similar on quite a few of the different princess ships, and this particular one I've had some amazing time with friends and family. Now it's really the disco here on board, but it's used for all kinds of different events. It's also a great place to sneak away during the day. Let me show you why. Now you've got these booth style seating, small intimate areas, tables for two and four. You've got the TVs there, so they'll use it for different sporting events. Sometimes they'll do movies up here as well. And then just behind, you're gonna find the full bar. Now they'll provide bar service through the entire area, but there's some really cool nooks here. So you've got seating along the windows. My wife will oftentimes come up here for sewing during the day because you get that great natural light. You do have the ability to exit out towards the aft and head down the stairways as well as entering from more midship area. Now I pointed out the bar here. As we continue across, you're gonna have seating all along the far window bank. It's a really nice place to be when you're in some of the scenic areas here on board. And then as I continue along, you've got more of that lounge style seating, and then you're gonna have the full dance floor. Now, as I mentioned, at its heart, this really is a disco. And I've had so much fun on this particular dance floor, might've even had a few or more than a few drinks as we did it. So you've got the DJ booth behind, you've got all the different lights up above, you've got different styles of effects that they can do. They've got a great sound system in here as well. I kind of like the idea that you've got bar style seating wrapped around looking over the dance floor. And then once again, there's more seating wrapped all the way around looking out at those incredible views. Now Camp Discovery is the kids club here on board and Princess is an incredible brand for families. In fact, I think sometimes people overlook how great they are for kids. I started off cruising with Princess when I was a really little guy. Now my kids come on here and they have an amazing time as well. Now they have programming for three all the way up to 17 year olds here on board. And I wanted to point out before we head into the kids club itself, you definitely wanna stop by on the first day and check your kids in. You're gonna let them know who can check them in and out. That's really important because only those who are authorized can. So when we travel with my parents, close friends and family, we'll add them as well. So maybe my wife and I are having an amazing dinner at Sabatini's. My dad can come by, pick my little one up, go have a blast and we'll meet up after our wonderful dinner. Now keep in mind the counselors love what they do. They all have a background in childhood education and they do a great job having, I think just as much fun as the kids oftentimes. So now let's check out the spaces. 
Now the first stop is the tree house. Now this is the space dedicated to the three to seven year olds here on board. Now we tour a lot of cruise ships and this is one of the most enormous amounts of space throughout the entire club that any cruise line dedicates to families. So the three to seven year olds are gonna have an absolute blast in here. They've got their cubbies down below. I love that each space has its own separate bathroom space. As we head around, you've got the map. Of course, the ship goes all around the world. You've got the cool little tree house in the corner there with the slide, the ability to climb. You also have this movie theater set up here as well. They'll bring out different styles of bean bags and things on the floor. The kids can gather around, play a video game that's interactive, or of course, watch one of the extra fun movies. Now, as we head further in, you've got a small air hockey table there. Over here, you've got a jungle gym of sorts where the kids can climb around, go up and down. I can picture my little one having an absolute blast right there. Now, as we head further back, you've got more seating areas and you've got a massive area here for arts and crafts. And there's even a video game center right around the corner. So the idea with the entire Princess Kids Club is that you're gonna have something for everyone, whether the kid's right brain, left brain, you're gonna find the perfect option for them. If they wanna do crafts all day, science experiments, they'll also get out and have them do sports as well. Now, just like adults, kids like to be indoors and outdoors. So they've got a great outdoor area as well. They've got different bikes and trikes that they can ride around on. Once again, just an extension of that space and of course they'll have great activities out here as well. Now for the 8 to 12 year olds you're gonna find the lodge. You'll see there's a progression here where they have different styles of activities. So in the far corner you've got of course the all-time favorites, the video game station. My daughter always loves that here on board. Right in the middle you find a ton of different spaces that they can reconfigure. So they'll use them for arts and crafts, they'll use them for science. You'll see that there's cabinets all the way around. They're full of all kinds of activities. Once again very active items and also those who want to chill and read a book. They've got a full library as well all age appropriate and this was all renovated recently. Now in the corner here you've got an air hockey table. They're gonna have a jukebox in each and every single one of the spaces so the kids can pick their own music. As we continue along you're gonna find that you have a lounge style area. They've got a full dance floor. Of course they lose it, use it for different options. Right now you can play one of the fun dance video games so they'll have competitions. You see they have all the lights, they've got all the speakers, all of this up above. Now another favorite is Ski Ball. Now everything in here is complimentary. Let's see if I've still got anything going there. The one I did in the... Uh... Now as a middle school teacher for over a decade, I know that teenagers are oftentimes the hardest audience to appease and they've done an amazing job with the beach house here. So you'll see some similar things to the other spaces. You've got lots of great lounge space. You've got the ski ball, you've got the air hockey, foosball, a full entire bank of video game stations. You also have the TV where they'll do different styles of competitions. They've got an Xbox Connect over there. Lots of fun and then lounge space in the middle. They'll even set this up for some dance parties. They have an arts and crafts corner tucked into the corner as well. And they also have a jukebox. There's a ping pong table, lots and lots of fun. Now there's outdoor space here as well for the teenagers. They'll even sometimes do activities around the ship. Now, one thing that I did want to point out is they do an amazing job, not just with the fun, but also the education built into the fun. So you're going to travel to some incredible destinations on this ship and the kids are going to learn, they're going to enjoy, they're going to meet new people and really have a blast on board. So now we're getting ready to head into the Lotus Spa. Now vacation is all about relaxation and living the life that you want to and what better place to spend your vacation than with a wonderful spa treatment. They've got a great thermal suite. You're gonna find all your favorite treatments from massages to facials. They also have acupuncture and some different Medi Spa style treatments. Let me take you around the spa. Now we've started off here in the full service salon. You're gonna have all those treatments that you have at home. You'll notice that there's quite a bit of retail as well. They've got a partnership with Keristis in Paris, taking advantage of some of the best ingredients in the industry. So you see you have hair stations all along the front here. You've got another few just behind me as well, the hair drying stations. You also have the area where they do the teeth whitening. Once again, lots of different options you can take advantage of on your cruise. And then as I head further in, you're gonna find more hair stations. You also have your pedicure and manicure station on the far side. I love the idea that you can have a full spa day with all kinds of different treatment options. Now I did want to point out that both the gents and the ladies lockers have a complimentary sauna and steam room that you can use here on board. There's also lockers in there so you can lock up your items before you use the spa or you use the fitness center. 
So now we're inside the relaxation room. This is where your spa journey is going to start. So they'll send you here, you'll fill out a little bit of paperwork so your therapist can get to know you, your likes, your dislikes, so you can have the perfect treatment for you. They're gonna have some different infused waters, they've got tea. Once again, you can start and finish your treatment right here. So now we're inside one of the treatment rooms. Keep in mind, they have a wide variety of options. They've got all your favorite massages. You see, you've got the hot stones over here. That's my personal favorite. They've got bamboo massage, deep tissue massage. They also have combination treatments, wraps, facials, name it. If you can do it at home at a spa, you can have it right here on your incredible cruise vacation. Now this one also has a shower, especially when you're doing one of those seaweed wraps or different treatments. I love that they have that option for you. So now we're inside the thermal suite. Now this does come at an additional cost. You can purchase it for the day. You can also purchase it for the entire cruise. Now I love these stone loungers here. They're heated from the bottom, they're ergonomic. I've had back issues for quite some time after an incredible shore excursion. Coming back and relaxing a little bit goes a long way for me. Now there's a couple different shower experiences that you're gonna find, tropical rain on one side, fog shower on the other. You're gonna have the mild steam room here. You've got the sauna across, and then right around the corner, you're gonna find that you're gonna have the aromatic vapor. So they'll do that aromatherapy, so you can kind of work through all of it as a circuit of sorts. And once again, this comes at an additional cost, but it's a really great upgrade for those spa lovers. Now, just after the spa, you're gonna find Hearts and Minds. Now, this is listed as the wedding chapel. It's a conference space. It can be used for lots of different things. So you can see it's set up here now, sort of as if it's for a wedding, you've got all the wedding decor back there as well. So you can do church services in here. You can do private groups. And of course, at Heart Travel, we do a lot of groups. And if you're interested in reserving the space, you wanna get far ahead of it, and we're happy to help. So now we're headed into the fitness center. Now you see, first up, you've got all the free weights. You've got different options here, different styles of benches. And then you're also gonna have all the different machines and circuit equipment. So you can work out every single part of the body. So on the far side here, I love that they've got the Smith machine. They've got several different styles of pulleys as well. And then all down the middle and wrapped around, you're gonna find the different circuit style equipment. Now you've got an enormous amount of aerobic options here as well. So you've got the hand cycle, you've got the rowing machine, you've got several different styles of bikes, you also have ellipticals, and then on this particular ship, wrapped all the way around to the front of the ship, you're gonna find treadmills. Now I do like that they've recently upgraded all the equipment here. You've got the towels, the things that you need to grab, and then from here, I love the idea of exercising, looking out and taking advantage of the incredible ocean views. Now, right in the middle of the fitness center, you're gonna find the aerobic studio. Now, just behind me, you're gonna find the aerobic studio. So this is where you're gonna find all the classes. They do spin classes, they do stretch. They also do different styles of yoga, and they've partnered with several different styles of fitness classes as well. Now, some of them do come at an additional cost. Keep in mind, if you've upgraded to the Princess Premier, quite a few of those are included for you. But the other thing that I really appreciate is you can come use this space anytime you want when they're not doing classes. They've got the foam rollers, the kettlebells, all kinds of different dumbbells in there as well, so you can pick your perfect exercise. Now, at the very forward part of the ship, you're gonna find the Princess Theater. Now, this is the main entertainment venue here on board. They have some incredible full Broadway style spectacles. You'll find that they partner with some of the best in the entire industry to create their own. Now you have those full production shows, but in addition to that, especially on the longer cruises, you're gonna find quite a few guest entertainers, whether it's an incredible singer, maybe a band that they bring on. They'll also bring on comedians, jugglers, magicians, lots of different options here where you can take advantage and basically be entertained and have that incredible inclusion on the cruise. Now keep in mind, all of this is included, doesn't come in an addition cost, so it's just one great reason to head on board the Crown Princess. Another one of the classic princess venues here on board is the Wheelhouse Bar. Now this is a classic pub. You're gonna find the stage behind me. They'll do entertainment each and every single evening there. They've got the piano, drums, they'll bring in some wonderful singers as well. Now you're gonna have the full bar set up here, and then you see these bistro style tables just behind me and the high top pub tables. This does turn into the Salty Dog Gastro Pub in the evenings, so you can also get some specialty restaurant experiences here. So it's absolutely delicious and elevated. As I mentioned, it comes in an additional cost, but this is a great place to get away during the day, relax, read a book, and in the evening it turns into a phenomenal entertainment venue. Now there's an enormous amount of retail here on board. Behind me is Facets. You're going to find their partnership with Effie. Now everything here when they set sail is going to be at duty-free prices. It's one of the reasons so many of our guests purchase on board, whether it's jewelry, perfume, or other items. This is the first of the retail that we're going to see, but there's quite a bit, once again, to take advantage of those duty-free prices. Now I love that Princess still has a classic library here on board. So they have 
have a book exchange. You're also gonna find books that you can check out. This is where you stop by for your daily crossword or Sudoku. And then they also have a wide variety of games and puzzles. I find on some of the longer cruises, you'll see quite a few puzzles here going on. It's a great way to participate with other passengers or do one yourself with your friends or family. I personally love a game of Scrabble, Trivial Pursuit. We've played a lot of them right here on board. Now, one of the most popular options here on board is Crooner's Bar. Now, you see the bar behind me here, some incredible bartenders. It's a great lounge style space, but you've got a piano in the corner, and they always have some great piano players and singers here on board. They'll take your favorite requests, they'll play all your favorite songs. You're gonna have a great time coming here before, after dinner, and it's another one of those spots where we spent so many nights here having a drink. In fact, once again, I remember Bob used to always get his whiskey and water. Of course, I'm a gin and tonic guy. Listen to the music and sing along. Now this is our first glimpse of the Piazza and I love that the music's spilling out up here as well too. That's all the way down on deck five, but you see the tiers as you step up. Now there's also some great retail options up here, all the favorite cosmetics and different things along those lines, once again at duty-free prices. Now the Explorer's Lounge is another place where we spend a lot of time. You can see that they have a stage and a full dance floor down there. So they'll do dance music each and every single night. They'll have live music here. They do special editions of it. It's also where you're generally gonna find all the different trivia options. Now I love playing trivia. I love doing it on a cruise ship and I'm gonna win each and every single time. I'm just saying, hopefully I get to see you on board and challenge you to a game. Now you've got a full bar here. Once again, it's that classic lounge style. They have different styles of entertainment and always a great drink. Now photos are always a big part of vacation and they're gonna take photos when you board throughout your cruise with your permission, of course, and you can purchase all of them or none of them. I love the idea though that they can capture some incredible moments. You maybe wanna get the full digital package. Now you'll stop by the photo studio for that. Keep in mind, they also have other retail options. Maybe you took so many pictures, you need to get a new memory card, batteries, they've got little different kits, binoculars, lots of different options here. Once again, duty free. Now the Crown Grill is a true unapologetic steakhouse. It's all about the steak here, but they also have some incredible appetizers and some seafood options as well. Now this is another one of those upgraded specialty options. I've always found that with Princess, the pricing is very reasonable. Now you see that they have tables for two and four. They also have booth style seating, but I wanted to take you around the corner because one of my favorite parts of this particular restaurant is that you have that open kitchen concept. Now, as you're working your way through all of the absolutely delicious appetizers, I love the lobster cake. It's absolutely delicious. Some soups, salads. You're gonna move on to that main course. For me, it's always going to be the ribeye. It's the most delicious of all steaks. And I love that you can have all those wonderful smells spilling out into the restaurant itself. As soon as you walk in, your mouth starts watering and you know you're gonna have a delicious meal. Now, one of the great things about this restaurant is it's absolutely massive for Princess's standards. So you'll find Sabatini's and Crown Grill really large, so you're gonna be able to get a seat much easier than you may on some of the other ships. Hey, look, it's art. Well, it's art of my friend Art. And you can even pull the sword from the stone and uh, well, you get a special prize. You'll have to talk about that on board. Now the medallion is a huge part of the princess experience. They've invested an enormous amount of money and it's really enhanced the service from start to finish. Now you're gonna get your medallion even before you arrive here on board. You'll do use it for everything from getting in and out of your room, but also the things that I really appreciate is you can come tap the medallion, see your own schedule, learn about the schedules of things that are coming up, but also all the crew members here on board have a small tablet. Now on that tablet, they can see you approaching, know exactly who you are, maybe you have an allergy that they need to know about, or you just love a gin and tonic, they're gonna know that as well. The idea behind it is to enhance service any way that they can, and the medallion's really done that. Now, I recommend you do stop by Oceanfront if you have any questions about the medallion. You can buy different jewelry that you can put that in as well, but they're here to answer all your questions. Once you learn it, you're gonna absolutely love it and never look back. Now, all the way in the after the ship, you're gonna find Club Fusion. This is another one of the oversized lounges here on board. I'm right now on the dance floor. They have an absolutely massive one. They've got the stage behind me. They'll have the full band going here, so they do dance music in here. Love to do that before dinner, after dinner. They also do different styles of game shows, trivia, lots of fun to be had. Now you've got the full bar that wraps all the way around. As I mentioned, there's an enormous amount of seating and it's a little bit tiered, so it steps up. You can sit right here on the dance floor. You can sit in one of the booths tucked just behind, grab a drink, participate, or just watch. Now the promenade deck also has an exterior promenade. Now the concept of a promenade comes from old school cruise ships where people would head on out, promenade around to be seen. Now for here on board the Crown Princess, it's where you can find some great seating options and it's a perfect place to be, especially during a sea day. When you're during the scenic parts of our world, it's an amazing spot to be as well. 
but oftentimes where you're gonna find me on board this ship is sitting right here, one of the teak loungers, enjoying a book, and of course, the beautiful views. Now at the very aft of deck six, you'll find the Botticelli dining room. Now, of course, Botticelli is an incredible artist. If you head to Europe, especially Florence, you may see some of his works. Now, I just wanted to take you right here. This was actually our table on a cruise a couple years ago, having wonderful, wonderful memories here. Now, dining is such a big part of the cruise experience. And one of the things that I really appreciate is you can try new things. Maybe you wouldn't order them at a restaurant where you're paying for every single item separately, but here on board, you can order quite a few items. I've been known to do that myself. They have a wide variety and a rotational menu. Now, this is the first of the restaurants we're gonna visit. They do all have the same exact menu each and every single day. You're gonna be able to take advantage of the Dine My Way where you can choose when and where you'd like to dine. Now, as we move forward on deck six, you're gonna find the Da Vinci dining room. Now you've got art from Leonardo da Vinci wrapped all the way around the sides, but I first wanted to point out that on the starboard side, you're gonna find the reserve collection dining. So if you happen to book one of those mini suites or the full suites that qualifies, this is gonna be your dining room area. So you always are gonna have a seat here. You don't have to worry about that. Then you're also gonna find that there's always an additional elevated item on the menu. Now, as I look behind me, you can also see that there's a ton of space on the other side as well. So this is one of the complimentary dining options. And then of course, if you've chosen to upgrade, this is where you're gonna enjoy some of those upgrades. Now, the final of the main dining rooms here on board is the Michelangelo dining room. You can see the beautiful triumvirate of incredible Renaissance artists. You've got the art all along the wall. You can see a little bit of the Sistine Chapel ceiling just behind me. In fact, this ship has been to Europe. Princess does an incredible job sailing to Europe to check out all of these incredible artists. But once again, this is all part of that complimentary dining experience. What you'll find is you can order from a wide variety of menu. They'll have breakfast, sometimes there's lunch, depending on port or sea days, and always dinner. Keep in mind that you're gonna need to reserve dinner times in the app itself. It's all part of that my dine, dine my way concept. But the idea really is you can dine who with who you want, where you want, and when you want. You can try brand new things increase your palate, or of course, go back to your favorite classics. Don't forget the Love Boat Dream. That's my all-time favorite dessert. I've had a few thousand of them. Now, as we continue to head forward, you're gonna find more retail on both sides of the ship. So this is where you're gonna find different items like luxury bags, maybe clothing items, things you forgot. Also alcohol and tobacco, those tend to be a big savings because a lot of the price is tax. Now you'll find the shore excursions desk next. This is where you're gonna to wanna to stop by if you have any questions about your shore excursions. Now we always recommend that you pre-book them ahead of time because they can sell out and you wanna get exactly what you're looking for. We also work with some incredible third party options if you're looking for a small group or private excursion to really elevate the experience. Now, as I continue along, you're gonna find another beautiful view of the piazza down below. You also have guest services. Now, I always recommend that you stop by during the cruise because first day, last day, it does get a little busy there, but that's like the front desk of a hotel. They can answer all your questions about money, your room, and everything in between. Now, just after the casino, you're gonna find the Speakeasy Cigar Lounge. Now, this is where you can get a cigar. They've got a humidor here. You can choose your favorites and purchase them. Of course, you can also bring your own. And then in here, they also have a couple TVs, so it turns into a little bit of a sports bar as well. Now, we're headed into Gatsby's Casino. Now, if you like to game on vacation and donate, or possibly win a few bucks, this is a great place to stop by. Now, you always wanna gamble responsibly. If you're having any issues with that, make sure you check with one of the crew members. Now, they've recently added sports betting. You can do it on the app and also in here as well. There's a large bar with some massive TVs that usually have the games on. And then right in the middle, you're gonna find most of the table games. You've got roulette, you've got craps, you've got blackjack, ultimate Texas Hold'em, three card poker, all of my personal favorites. I love that they also have Texas Hold'em. Now, personally, I prefer a hand dealt table versus the machine, but you can get a lot more hands in that way. Now you find they have all your favorite slot machines. They just upgraded and added quite a few. I like the old school ones where you can pull down on the slot, but they got multiple player games, different options that you can choose from. Now Princess has a full conference center here on board. We're just in one tiny bit of the space. They can open up the doors, connect it all together. Now keep in mind, if you are looking to book a conference, a meeting, maybe a group or incentive trip, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We can guide you through that process. You definitely want to get started early to make sure you can lock down this space and the exact rooms and suites you'd like.
So now we're headed into the Princess Fine Arts Gallery. It's a collaboration with Park West. You'll see some of our favorites. You got Godard behind me there. As we continue along, you've got Kincaid, you've got Peter Max, also one of our all-time favorites, Romero Brito. Now this is where you can come and you can peruse the art. I love the enormous collection that they have out here on display. Also, you can come and purchase art. They're gonna do auctions throughout your cruise. It's a great place to get a free glass of champagne, but it's also a wonderful place to learn about the art or purchase it. I've heard the prices can be better than on land. You may wanna check that out for yourself. Now, a great spot for a drink is Vines. Now, you can take advantage of the wine tasting. They have an enormous cellar here on board. They do wine tastings right here. You can see how it's set up. And then Vines itself, as we head over there, it's a great little bar lounge area. Now they'll do tapas that are complimentary, so they'll serve those usually in the afternoon from late lunch all the way through. You've got some great seating over here, tables for two and four, and then you also have a full bar service, so it goes beyond just the wines. Now I did want to point out the future cruise desk here on board. It does get really popular because guests have such an incredible time, they want to book their next one here. You can take advantage of deals that you simply can't get on land. You can combine those with the best promotions that they're having currently. Now, of course, if you book the cruise with us, when you get home, we're gonna be able to take care of all the details from there. If you didn't, let us know before you go. We can tell you how to connect with us, and then we can provide excellent service throughout the entire process for you. Now, another popular bar option here on board is Good Spirits. Now, this is a collaboration, and what you're gonna find is it's a great place to get a drink, but also learn how to make drinks. They actually have cameras that are up above the bar. They'll do special presentations throughout your time here on board, where you can watch them make the drink, and they'll even give you the recipe. Now another great fast casual dining option is the International Cafe and Coffee Shop. So it's here in the piazza itself. So you get that great music, you're gonna have fruits, you're also gonna have sandwiches, light bites, cakes, different desserts. And throughout the day, they'll move it around. So for breakfast, you can get some really good breakfast sandwiches. They're delicious, they'll heat them up. You can also do paninis for lunch. And then once again, you'll have some great dessert options all the time, even late into the evening. Now, I did want to take you inside the Internet Cafe. Once again, you can utilize the computers here. Now, Internet does come at an additional cost unless you've upgraded to one of the packages that include it, or you can purchase it a la carte. Now, I just want to point out that this is a great place to stop by. If you have any questions with using the Internet on your phone, they can take care of that. They can answer all your questions. Now, one thing that you'll find on Princess ships that you won't find on every cruise line is laundromats. Princess has some incredible, much longer cruises, and so you'll need to do laundry on board. Now you can send it out, it's similar to dry cleaning prices you'd find at a hotel, but you can have this option, it does come at an additional cost, but it's obviously quite a bit less expensive than sending it out. Now keep in mind, if you're the highest tiers of uh, the loyalty club, also, suites, you're gonna get complimentary laundry service, so you don't need to worry about this at all. So now I'm here right in the heart of the piazza. Now a piazza in an Italian town or village is the center of daily life. You usually have the church around it, the grocery store, all the bars and restaurants, and it's the same here on board Princess. So behind me, you've got a piano player who's absolutely rocking it right now, playing some incredible tunes, and you're gonna find that this is a diverse entertainment option. So do entertainment right here, it turns into a stage, it turns into a dance floor, you've got seating wrapped all the way around. You've got a couple bars, you've got the restaurants. It's just a wonderful gathering place. Now also you're gonna have the glass elevators here up and down. You see the staircases as well. Once again, the piazza is the center, the heart of the Crown Princess, just like it would be in an Italian village. Thank you so much for spending your day with us here on board the incredible Crown Princess. The ship just got a massive renovation. You can definitely see it all around the ship. Keep in mind, we have all the rooms and suites on our channel for you to check out as well. And most importantly, when you're ready to cruise on the Crown Princess or any princess ship, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out and have an amazing relationship with the cruise line. And we know we can help craft your cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way.